Hey everybody, it's Ron, and today I'm going to be recommending Dexter New Blood. If you're a fan of this series like I was, then you probably loved seasons one through four, and then you were also probably disappointed by the decrease in quality for seasons five through eight. I think season eight had one of the worst series finales I've ever seen, and it was sad because Dexter started out as such a fun, promising show, and it made the mistake that a lot of shows make by overstaying its welcome. So I was cautiously optimistic about this redo, and I'm really glad they did it because I was surprised with how much I ended up enjoying it. So for those who don't know, Dexter ended up taking his boat out into a hurricane in the series finale, and he ends up surviving in a bizarre final scene where he looks like a lumberjack staring into the camera. It was definitely an unsatisfying ending, but in this series we find out that he started a new life in a town called Iron Lake, has a completely different job, and even has a new girlfriend. He hasn't killed anyone since he's been living his new life, but things change when he gets himself into a situation with a local that he can't fight his urges with and ends up killing him. It turns out to be bigger than he thought because his first victim's father is played by a well-known and well-liked man in the small town named Kurt Caldwell. And he's played by Clancy Brown who's fantastic in this show and he fits right in with the ice truck killer and the trinity killer as a worthy foe for Dexter to go up against. The first couple episodes were admittedly a little slow to start and I thought they were good, but once the true story of the season rears its head, it starts to get excellent, and it felt like the old Dexter again. For the first time in a while, I was tense and genuinely surprised by the twists and turns. What I like about this series is how they use the confusing old ending of this show to their advantage, because the change in scenery was fresh, and so was the addition of an older Harrison, Dexter's son, played by Jack Alcott, and watching Dexter struggle to become a good father was one of the strongest parts of this season. Michael C. Hall is great as always, and it was really nice to see him return to this character with good material to work with. The supporting cast was really great. I think the only thing I would say is I found Dexter's girlfriend's daughter, Audrey, a little annoying in the beginning, and her beef with that petrol billionaire guy didn't really have anything to do with the overall story and didn't really need to be there, but that went away pretty quickly and after that the writers really focus on Dexter and Harrison and Kurt Caldwell who is pulling them apart. All of this stuff was really effective. It was nice to see some cameos like Angel Batista from the original series and I love the callbacks to the Trinity Killer and even some flashbacks of Dexter's old life. They really hammered home the idea that everything he's done has huge consequences and the Bay Harbor Butcher title comes back to haunt him in a big way. This series doesn't shy away from the gore and it was nice to see that they didn't water down the violence to help it feel consistent with the best seasons of Dexter. The problem with the later seasons was that there was nothing to hook you in episode to episode. I couldn't wait to see what happened next after every episode in season 4 for example, and I felt the same way about 3 episodes into New Blood, which is a testament to the writing. Sometimes giving something a second chance really pays off, and that's definitely the case with Dexter New Blood. I can't think of another TV show that has ever come back to basically redo a final season, and I think it was a very risky, cool thing to do. So. Kudos to the creators for coming back to right some of the wrongs and admit that some things didn't work out so well the first time. I won't spoil too much in this recommendation, but I'll say if you're a fan of Dexter when the show was in its prime, then I think you will be really happy with the way this series redeems itself with new blood. So give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content and thanks for watching. Hey everyone, it's Ron here with a quick announcement. When I started this channel, I was reading and reviewing the Dune books and other sci-fi related material. And most of you might not know that I'm also a musician. 
So when I was reading these sci-fi books, I started to get inspired and decided to make my own soundtrack to use for my videos. And now I'm excited to tell you all about the first volume in the Ron Reviews original soundtrack collection. This album includes the first 17 tracks featured on my channel, and it's available now exclusively on Bandcamp. Be sure to check the description of this video for the link to the album. Thanks so much for the support so far. I know I'm just starting out, but I hope you're having as much fun as I am. So check out the original soundtrack volume one on Bandcamp. This music is great if you want something moody and atmospheric to listen to while you're reading some science fiction. I think you're going to love it. Thanks.